attention, please. May I have your attention, please? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Five and a Dime. 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 Yo, it's Gregory Cannon, aka Five and a Dime. I three types. There's A-B mashups, which is a 1v1. It means one song over another. There's continuous mashups, like Girl Talk, E603, Me. And it's when you combine multiple songs into one another, and you have it go in a continuous form. So the album is basically an entire song. Um, and then there's Glitch Pop, which is basically Girl Talk. It's when you take hundreds of songs, like 40 songs per track, and you basically cut it up and make your own sound. It's almost non-recognizable. Well, I want to say Girl Talk was my most, it was my biggest influence by far. Uh, then it was Super Mash Bros. And then DJ Earworm. But, um, I get my style somewhat from Super Mash Bros. I get my song choice somewhat from DJ Earworm. And I sort of have a little bit of crazy stuff going on, sort of like Girl Talk. So I'd say those are my biggest three influences. I realized that I will not get into trouble if I distribute it online. I do not make a big commotion. I don't ask for donations. I don't ask for money. I don't put it on iTunes, none of that stuff. Some people do that and they, you know, they're making a, a little bit of money, but I'm not willing to take that risk. Um, never really been concerned with it because I realized that even though it technically is illegal, Think about all the rappers that make mixtapes and they use other people's beats and instrumentals. You know, it doesn't work that way. There's so many people sampling other people's music. It only becomes a concern when you start to make a revenue off of it through selling the music. Okay. Um, I would say doing the mashups in a crowd where there's a bunch of lights, loudspeakers, energy is wild, people on stage, I love people on stage. Um, originally people didn't think I should have people on stage, but I like that sort of girl talk-esque look, you know? Like, I like people jumping around on stage with me because then I get a feeling for what the crowd really wants. Um, so I'd say lights, energy, people, and it's hard to explain. It really is. Unless you're there, you can't explain it. It's just my favorite thing. That's the main reason I like doing my mashups, live shows. Thanks for coming out tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Five and a dime. Five and a dime. Five and a dime. Five and a dime. Listen up, y'all, cause this is it. The beat that I'm banging is delicious.
Five and a Dime is just the music I make, you know? Like, I put the feelings that I have as Gregory Kanner, I put into my music. So, we're basically like the same person. Uh, you know, Gregory Kanner has to go to class, and Gregory Kanner has to take out the trash, and you know, whatever. You know, I guess Five and a Dime just stays on his computer all day and makes music. <laughs> Postmodern art. Um, I could agree. I mean, it's basically like a, uh, it's like a mosaic, if you will, of sound. You combine many, many different parts and pieces to create an ultimate product. Um, you could basically call it a sound mosaic in the 21st century. as long as I possibly can. Um, starting to learn how to produce music, um, and that hopefully will get me somewhere else too, but mashups, I'm gonna do it for as long as people want it. As long as the demand is there, I'll be the supplier.